Hey tribe, hey, welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today's just going to be a quick message for the tribe. So if it resonates, awesome. Appreciate if you subscribe, like, share those you think it will resonate too. I do appreciate you sending you number love, peace, and blessings. All right, guys. So um, any other information you know down below, all right? Let's get into it, boys. What I'm getting is like your light is like intimidating a lot of people. You could be realizing this because you're coming out of like some type of naive energy. I'm also getting like people think they can like disrespect you or talk to you in kind of way um and they starting to realize like no you cannot okay and you have people like i'm also getting like people see some of you guys could be like jesus descent but people see like when you're mad they see or when you demand respect they see something in your eyes i don't know what it is but you know how in the bible when they say uh the the light of the fire maybe they see in fire or your your eyes could change colors or something like that here yeah you could have people who's getting paid to get on your nerves. I don't know. This is something. You could be getting paid under the table. Or you could be a waiter or something like that here. I used to work at a pizza shop. So a pizza shop could be significant. Okay. Or pizza in general. Diary. You know a lot of people's secrets. They scare you. scaring people because you know people's secrets. I'm also getting... You... I won't tell your secrets. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. <laughs> your secrets are safe with me. Safe with me. Journaling. Maybe journaling will benefit you. Or everybody can't be your diary. Okay, maybe you're looking for somebody to confide in. Confide in God, okay, at this time. Because... I don't know. Maybe somebody's trying to get a secret out of you. Like, somebody's trying to get some dirt on you. Yeah. Somebody who you could live with. Are you... Okay, so somebody you live with, you could be demanding respect from this person. Some of you guys, this could be a roommate. This could be a sibling. Or you demanding respect in your home, whoever you allowing to stay with you. And they're mad about this. They're mad. Okay. Please don't leave. Some of you guys, you're about to leave a home situation when it comes with to somebody because they don't know how to respect you. But this could also be like somebody could even be thinking about spreading your business. Or you need to be careful with who you're telling your business to. Okay. You could be, some of you guys, you're about to buy property and rent out rooms. Or you could be thinking about making extra income by doing that. Decrease. But it, I don't know. Some of you guys, if you are thinking about doing that, be mindful. Try to... Don't over, like, do it. Because something could be more money to invest in what you're receiving. So make sure it's worth investing in when it comes to property okay even if it ain't a boarding house or um renting out rooms and stuff or even a get maybe you need to think about this here because maybe you think about getting a roommate but maybe it'll be more of a headache than a blessing to get a roommate or to rent out a room or buying property and renting it like and renting it out make sure it is worth the profit okay because you don't want to make um the, the wrong decision and you know what i'm saying you about to lose respect for somebody. Levitate because your vibration is right, like it's rising. That's why you can't be around a lot of people right now. And this is probably why you're bumping heads with people you live with because the the more you raising your vibration, theirs is not. Some of you guys, you're being guided to move or spirit about to make new doors open up for you because you can't live around these people who do not want to raise their vibration. These people could also be looking at you funny because they like. Mm, look at them eating that salad. Look at them reading that book. Look at them doing yoga. Look at them outside sunbathing. Like somebody feel like what you're doing is weird. Okay. And I feel like you can't be your authentic self around certain people that you're living with because they 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 don't they not really with it. Okay. New project. You could be doing a new project here. This could even be like your neighbors looking at you and they like Oh, look at them. Why they, why they, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out because you're so, you're so different. You're so odd to society because you don't do what society do. And this has people looking at you 
You know what I'm saying? It's like that meme where they have this uh all these great people in the group and then you're like you're like on the outside. You're the only one over there. There's a group of people over here. And they're calling you weird or something like that. Yeah, good news is on the way here. Your intuition is on point. If You you, you could be like, something good about to happen. Because the more you're raising your vibration, the more you're attracting good news. So it's like you could be in a good mood, right? You going out, you sunbathing and stuff. You come back in, boom. You like this. It's because the people around you, they, they are not in alignment with you like you should be around people that's like hey girl look at you glowing that day yes and then they glowing too like that's the energy i would want to be around or i don't want to be around nobody i'm a hermit anyway so somebody could be a hermit okay you a soul snatcher as well okay your exes want you back but you also got people who want to be with you because you increase you have good luck you are walking magic stick okay a good luck charm you got somebody you if you mess with somebody right and all all this good stuff is happening to them you did that because you put it on that person you put that good luck on that person you put that fountain of youth on that person <laughs> i'm just playing but not for real it's a wishing well baby <laughs> somebody say you got that wishing well okay period that's that um earth angel mm, okay let me get this ethereal cat. Okay. Yeah. Sunday service. You don't need to go to church. That's what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing, um, yeah, you don't need to go to church because you are the church. Okay. You could be a savage for real. You could be a Pisces. You could be a Capricorn. You could be a Virgo. Are you, you just good as a Gemini? You, you just good at speaking. You teaching people how to love. You are the ser the Sunday service. Okay. People come to you because they have to learn something somebody learning god through you because you're a goddess you're a god you're the image you're jesus the saint for some of you guys when when you get angry or when you demand respect people see the they see the fire they see the flame whatever they said in the bible you got people missing you because you're teaching people a lesson on what love was you taught people how to love and they didn't know at the time they didn't understand it at the time and now they're starting to understand it but it's too late now it's like i'm on to the next one you you be sent in people's lives to teach them a lesson, tribe. Light up a candle, cleanse your energy at this time. Pressures. Somebody better come in and apply pressure, baby, because somebody wants you. Somebody want to see what that wishing will be like. Okay. <laughs> like they trying to see like what, what, what what's going on. <laughs> somebody about to apply pressure. Maybe some of you ask me to light up a pink candle to attract this love even faster. Okay. Don't listen to what people say. I keep on hearing that song all day. I kept on listening to that song. And I'm like, what the freak? It's by Gunna. I think it's You and Me. I kept on listening to that song by Gunna. It's called You and Me. It's like a um like a little remix of John B. And he'd be like, don't listen to him. And then she'd be like, um, I if you right, I will. I if you right, I will. <laughs> Baby, you fine, fine. You know me like it's prime time. You mind, mind me. That's my song, y'all. You and me, my gunner. So, listen to that. Something, somebody wants to, they want to make you theirs. And they don't want nobody, they don't care what nobody say. They, they like, I don't care what they say. You're mine, okay? And they wanna they wanna see what that wishing would be like. They wanna apply pressure. Somebody wanna apply pressure. Cause they feel like you are pressure. Okay, you're a diamond. Okay, period. Yeah. Make a wish. I'm <laughs> wishing well. You got that wishing well. They wanna apply pressure, baby. They feel like they they feel like their dream will come true with you. And this is not a using energy. This person feel like you guys can grow together. Like you a wish come true to this person, like. Right? You a wish come true, okay? I'm gonna say a dream come true. So you a wish. This person is wishing for you. Some of you guys, this somebody. Now this may not be somebody you met. Some of you guys that you did meet this person, and they have a secret crush on you. This could be an Aquarius, but this is another person I'm getting. Like this is somebody that knows about you, but you may not know about them. Maybe you're, from your social media, you have somebody that's like uh, captivated by you. This could even be like a neighbor. This could be like somebody that you regularly go to. Like you go to like a public place. This person bumps into you. Or something they don't know you personally but they've been watching you they find you very attractive okay they they know the vibes okay they are trying to find a way like they've been praying like 
can so and so come in my life? For some of you guys, you have not met this person at all. It's just that like this person is praying for somebody like you. And when they do meet you, they're gonna be like, Oh yeah, that's my wish come true when you do meet this person. So maybe that's why you know that. Why do you need to know this? Why do you try me to know this? Thank you, spirit. Because it's time to move. New doors are opening up for you. For you to move on when it comes to love. Okay? Move on when it comes to living with certain people or being around certain people. Even if you don't live with these people, these people are Debbie Downers. Okay? So that's what Spirit wants you to know. Something about a confession. Somebody wants to confess something to you. They want to confess that they love you. Oh, I didn't even mean to say that. So somebody want to confess that. Okay, so, so somebody want to confess that they love you or they got feelings for you. It's something like that here. Yeah, somebody wants to get intimate with you. Or you let somebody go when it comes to intimacy. You let go of like a sneaky link or like uh, somebody that you let over. You guys are not in alignment anymore. You was just like, I'm not feeling this. Uh, you did the right thing because you're moving on. You're about to move on to your soulmate. Give it time here. All right, yes, yeah, something is a yes, okay? Yeah, so you're coming out of some type of um, mishaps here. All right, this could be an earth sign. You could be an earth sign. You about to, you about to be meeting somebody. It's gonna be a honeymoon here, or you, if you have met someone, take your time. But when it's time, you are gonna know it's time. It could be like on a vacation that it's gonna be time, or make it special. You know what I'm saying? Make it special. Make something. New. Make it remember. Okay, yeah, open your heart, follow your intuition, open up your heart because the spirit is sending you or is sending you to someone here when it comes to love. You're improving your health and your love life is in, improving as well. Your health and your love life because you're protected from any challenges. You could have had a lot of like love challenges. You could have had a lot of luck challenges. Okay, giving yourself to the wrong people was draining your own luck for yourself, but now. You're coming out of that, okay? And you're walking into like a new love here and a new sense of worth, okay? Yeah, something about ashamed. You could have went through like um, intimacy addiction, okay? And you could have you could have felt ashamed. I feel like you healing from that, okay? Or somebody wants you to feel ashamed about your past sex history, okay? Like oh, da da da. da. Don't let that affect you. You deserve love. That don't matter. Who you were is not who you are. Somebody could be trying to make it seem like you don't deserve love. This could even be yourself. You thought you didn't deserve love because of your past history, your love life. Yeah, cope, reject it. You're rejected. Somebody's coping with the fact that you're rejecting them. This could be a friend or a lover, family, people you live with, people at the workplace. All right, if you got rejected at a, at a job, you're being led to a better job. Rejection for your protection. I'm also getting like um, somebody at, at the job. They're going to try to like, um, this could be sexual harassment for some of you guys. But somebody at the job is like trying to get you to um, mess with them or something like that. Or they feel bitter that you rejected them. Or, yeah. Funeral could be significant. Too late. Somebody wanted to say sorry, but it was too late because they already passed away or they about to pass away. My condolences. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle. There's a death, an ego death. You're going through an ego death, a spiritual death. It's too late to come back into my life because I'm I'm not that person who I was before. I am someone new. You're being spiritually rebirthed. Yeah, somebody's heartbroken about your change and being spiritual. They feel left out. Because you have healed your inner child and someone feels left out. And it's a perfect time to make a wish. It's a, it's a perfect time to make a wish here. And don't listen to what people say. All right. Love you guys.